the European financial system appears to be entering a world of pure imagination. Hello and welcome to today's Daily Blitz. Now in today's video we'd like to highlight some of the very interesting, very strange things that are going on within Europe's banks. Now specifically, uh, I saw a statistic recently where Germany's banks, 60% of Germany's banks in fact, have been charging their corporate clients negative interest rates. So all these, the, the private sector that deposits their money, very industrious private sector in Germany of course, 60% of Germany's banks are charging those private sector clients, those private companies, uh, just, just for the sake of uh, having deposits with them. In fact, uh, it's in effect a tax on the German private sector by Germany's banks, not by the government. And I think that was a, it was, seemed very strange because, you know, negative interest rates for, you know, maybe 15 years ago would have been completely unheard of. And yet here we have 60% of Germany's banks doing it to uh, Germany's, you know, very vast and uh, Great with great capacity private sector. But it doesn't just end with Germany's banks, does it? That's right. And the performance of these banks has been really bad. In fact, if you look at the top 10 banks in the Eurozone by market cap, they're smaller than the largest bank in America, JP Morgan. And that suggests that in terms of their financial performance, their valuations, it's been a disastrous few years. And so while uh, your Eurozone banks have been able to charge this tax on all of their, all of their clients, it doesn't seem that uh, they're really making much money out of it, or at least their share price didn't seem to be reflecting that at all. And yet, despite all of this, despite these very low valuations, it doesn't seem like those European banks actually want to merge with each other and you know, solve the problem through economies of scale. So uh, was it Unicred that came out recently and said they didn't want to merge? Yeah, the, if you can see uh, from the chart on the screen now, the costs inside the European banking system are incredibly high relative to income. And the solution to that was supposed to be that the large banks merge and create super banks that are competitive in internationally, especially competing with JP Morgan to be the same size. But they don't seem to be willing to do that, probably because they don't trust what's on each other's books. And so to, in, the, in the background of all this, of course, it was uh, the European Central Bank who is causing this negative interest rate uh, impetus. They were, they're the ones caught, they're the force that is forcing these banks to, uh, to go to such extreme lengths and charging their, their clients. However, in light of this underperformance and in light of the fragility of, the, of this entire system, they, uh, they have gone to even further lengths to try and shield some of their banks from those negative rates, while those very banks are charging negative rates to the private sector. And it's through a tiering system, right? Yeah, it's really confusing. They're basically taking with one hand and giving back with the other, and they're fiddling with the bad consequences of their own system. They are charging banks, the central bank is charging banks to keep money on reserve for them and at the same time saying, but we'll give you some of that back, it's all right, if you're underperforming. So overall, it's just a very, very strange landscape. So we would uh, we would say very much, if you, if you want to make predictions on what the Eurozone will look like and what it will continue to look like, we would encourage you to have a very open mind and very open to new ideas as a whole. But that sums up today's Daily Blitz. Thank you very much for watching and uh, be sure to tune in next time.